Hey, what's up, shot makers? It's Rob here. I got my man Vic Costa with me today. Vic, tell the people about yourself, man. I'm excited to be here. I appreciate you having me on. I'm a coach trainer now, but I've been playing basketball mm -hmm. ever since I was in middle school. I played at Santa Monica High School. Following my Santa Monica High School career, I played at the University of Laverne. Ended up playing a little bit in Europe. After Europe, I played most of my time in Brazil. Then I, I stopped playing. Beginning of 2022, decided to come back home to dedicate my life to coaching and training, helping guide these kids and help them reach their potential and help them get to where they want to go. So now I'm a assistant varsity coach for the men's basketball team at Santa Monica High School. I got my own brand, VC Basketball, which I you know train, hold workouts, host runs, dedicated my life to helping these kids show them the blueprint, show them the way and help them get to where they want to go, basically. So that's what I do right now, man. You we played in Europe for a little bit and then you played yep. and went to Brazil. How was yep. that? How was that experience in Europe first? And then how was it vastly different from Europe to Brazil? What was that like? So my Europe experience was one of the best experiences of my life, man. I, I recommend everyone, if you can get out there, even if you're not playing, just to travel, get out of your own little bubble. So many different cultures and people out there that is going to open up your mind and help you become a, a new person with a new vision. It was a great experience, especially when I was young. I was like fresh out of college, so I had no money. I had no experience. I was just out there. I would take pennies to go play as long as I'm still hooping and playing the game I love and getting paid for it. I was all in for it. The contracts were terrible, but I was still out there experiencing <laughs> and, and, and getting real life exposure experiences and visiting new countries and meeting new people and some of the teammates I've had. So it was a great experience, man. So I know you still play, but now you've been giving back the game through coaching and through your content. Talk a little bit about that. What inspired that? So after I played professionally, man, I stopped. I took a little break because it was just my whole life has been basketball every single day ever since high school. And it's like a lot of people, a lot of kids think shit sweet out there overseas, playing basketball overseas must be nice. Man, it's a lot of bad yeah. situations out there. So you have to make sure you find the right situation. I've been in situations where I don't even got a place to sleep. They don't give you food. Yeah. They pay you like $200 a month. You can play overseas, but it's not about making it overseas because if you're just making it, chances are you're going to be in a bad situation. It's also, also a lot of good situations overseas where I've been in part of the teams that they treated you super well, uh, facility super good, they pay you well, food is good. Mm. So you just got to find the right situations out there. It, it just came to the point where I just stopped having fun with it. I, I, I thought I wasn't going to pay. I wasn't able to save up any money. And, so like I said, it's a grind, man. You you wake up seven in the morning, practice, weights, then you gotta go home, yeah. eat, and then you got night practice again. So I'm I'm leaving my house at seven a.m. I'm coming back home at like eight p.m. Getting paid nickels and dimes. So you just gotta outweigh yeah. it. At the end of the day, you're still traveling and experiencing stuff. So while I while I was young, that that worked, that was cool and all. But now I'm trying to build something and, and really make a difference and. That's why I started my own brand. And now I have kids that I, I train and I help mentor and guide. And hopefully I'm able to help them reach their goals and not only become good basketball players, but, you know, most importantly, just become good human beings and good people at the end of the day. So you said you're, you're at Santa Monica High right now? Yeah, uh, I actually went to Santa Monica High School, but now I am coaching there. So it's a, it's a yeah. full circle moment for me. It's my first year coaching with them. Started okay. breakfast club with them. I had breakfast club with them yesterday. Went in before school, got some work in. So it's going yeah. well, man. That's dope, man. That's dope. How are you guys looking for the season? Man, we're looking good. We're looking solid right now. We got a lot of good players. I'm hopeful if we keep putting the work in under Coach Heck. Coach Heck's been there, the head coach, for like 30 years. He was my head coach. So he has a oh, great, wow. Yeah, he has a great structure and system there. So... As long as the boys trust the process and, and stick to it, they, sh they should have a pretty good season, man. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get them boys right, help them. I'll be the player development coach, so I'll make sure their game is polished, uh, whatever they need to work yeah. on. I'll help them work on it and uh, just making sure that, that they're ready to perform. Yeah, so, so. so the content side of things, man, what got you into doing the content? So uh, when I stopped playing, I told you I took a break um, 
from basketball. And then I just yeah. started getting into social media a little bit. I was just bored at the crib during COVID, like everyone. <laughs> And yeah, that's yeah. the time where TikTok was blowing up and I would just stay home with my girl, just make TikToks. And that's how it started. I was making like trend videos, like cringy dance videos. <laughs> and yeah, it was bad, bro. And I was like, this ain't me, man. Let me, let me get back to my roots. And then that's when during COVID, that's when street basketball started to come back in life. Like all the gyms yeah. were closed. So like people were just playing in the streets and that's when street basketball started popping up again. And then I started getting into basketball again. I, I took a, a year break and I was doing these cringy dance videos and trends and stuff. But then when street yeah. basketball came back in, my homie invited me like, yo, let's go to Penmore Park or let's go hoop. They're hooping out there and all the gyms are closed during COVID. So I just went we started hooping again. That's when I started getting back into hoops. And I was like, let me do this content stuff, but let me niche it down to this hoop. That, that's what I really love. But once I started niching it down to just hoops, that's when mm -hmm. things started really popping off. And I just kept doing it every day. I was like, oh, I'm going to stay consistent with this. I'm going to drop a video every day. So I dropped yeah. a video every day for like three months. And then at first it wasn't mm -hmm. picking up, but now it's doing really well. Just yeah. like staying consistent and dropping every day. That helped my momentum get up there. And now I'm still doing it. And it helps a lot. Like the most gratifying part of it is just getting DMs and people like hitting me up like, damn, this really helped. Uh, I'm going to use this in my game. Like, or like, they'll hit me up like, I used that move you told me to in the game and it, and it worked. Like I was balling out. Like just stuff like that just keeps me going. It's <laughs> yes, so yeah. I get to help people. As long as I get to help man, like, one person with those videos, man, I, I'm happy with this. So. I'm a, I, I challenge you to get up out yes. of bed, man. As soon as that alarm go off, get up, man. Drink water. Go outside, get your exercise in. It don't matter if it's a nice run, lifting weights, shooting hoops. Just get up, drink water, exercise. Start your day like that. And then watch your day be a lot better after you get a good workout in, good exercise in, some water, some good food. Then you're ready to attack the day. So, Vic, it's been great having you on, bro. Any last words for the people? I just hope everyone out there that's watching, just follow your dreams and that intuition you have in your head. Like, this is what I love doing. Go after it. All right? Because you don't want to end up doing something you don't like. Like, I love this hoop stuff. I'm happy as hell. I get to still work with and be around the game. So just follow your heart, man. That's it. Just follow your heart. <laughs>